found myself paddling along in the water when my hand hit something. And a few seconds later, I was attacked by a 12-foot great white shark. And when that shark hit me, it, it hit me hard, probably going about 30 miles an hour, and lifted me up, flipped me over, and started swimming with me underwater. And as I struggled with it, uh, it eventually let go. I swam myself into the beach and spent, after seven hours of surgery and 400 plus stitches, spent the next six months really recovering. After graduating from college and faced with limitless opportunity, Cal grad Jonathan Catherine made good on his promise to change the world. At the age of 22, Catherine founded Future Leaders for Peace, a nonprofit organization dedicated to the promotion of peace and conflict resolution among youth. Inspired by his own experience, John and his co-founder, Richard Hunter, devoted themselves to rising above personal tragedy and sharing the importance of meaningful relationships. I've learned a lot about hard work. I've learned a lot about relationships because I realized if everything had been taken from me that day and I had only an hour left to live, I wouldn't have been thinking about how important my cool shoes and my cool hat and my watch, my CD collection, you know, I wouldn't have been thinking about how important those things were. I, what I was thinking about was how important my relationships were. With friends and family. In California today, homicide is the leading cause of death for young people. And of the 184 people killed by guns in San Francisco, half of the suspects and a third of the victims were between 19 and 24 years old. In a world where statistics like these are common, Future Leaders for Peace uses interactive assemblies, workshops, and student groups to equip Bay Area youth with the necessary skills to become a positive force in the world. The simple messages can be adapted and applied to the individual circumstances that occur in daily life. Since 2005, Jonathan and his team have worked with over 8,000 young people, teaching the importance of honesty, listening, and goal setting throughout the Bay Area, creating a ripple effect that spreads throughout the community. The real idea of that is that you are, you are making changes in your life, and if everybody does that, then it creates uh, really a ripple. It's like throwing a rock into a pond and as those waves spread it affects other people and it all comes back to you. College students have the opportunity to become involved in Future Leaders for Peace by acting as leaders of assemblies to students of all ages or by participating in the Future Leaders for Peace Cal Focus Group that meets the first and third Wednesday of every month at 5.30. One of the things that I think makes us a strong organization is that we use young people to teach young people. So what we do is we focus on bringing Cal students into schools, middle and high school primarily, as volunteers to work with the kids. Through their promotion of empathy, communication, and goal setting, Future Leaders for Peace has devoted itself to teaching the leaders of the future because through them we can change the world. For more information about Future Leaders for Peace or about how to get involved, Visit futureleadersforpeace.org. Reporting for CalTV, I'm Lindsay Baker.